What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a simple glam look. It's super easy and anyone can do it. And here's the kicker. Each product I'm gonna use is under 10 doing this. There's probably an item or two that I ordered online, but most of this stuff can be found at Walmart. After this tutorial, you can gain your car, drive to Walmart, buy all the ingredients you need for a healthy base and a healthy face. TM, your auntie Twan. Without further ado, let's get started. I already have my brows on. I'm gonna prime my eyes with some concealer and I'll be using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Use your ring finger to blend out your concealer. It has the least amount of pressure and is the most gentle on the skin. For today's look, I'll be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette. And this palette is called Rosé in the Air. The best part is that this is only $5. You can get some decent color payoff. The only thing is, there is a lot of fallout, so that's why I'm doing my eyes first. We're gonna be taking the lightest shade, this one right here, to set my concealer. Be sure to pat the powder in and then brush out the excess. Next, I'm gonna use this shade for my transition color. I'm using the e.l.f. blending brush for this. What helps me is starting at the crease and then slowly bring it to the front. Next, we're gonna take this chocolate brown and focus it in the outer V of your eye to create some dimension. It can be a lot, so start slow. What helps me is to tap on faces. There is absolutely no rush. Take your time, sweetie. She pressed. You can flex. Come, tell me how. Tell me why you stressed. See that? The beauty. Then once you start getting confident, just blend it over. Woo! Woo! Helps is little circles and then swipe, swipe, swipe. Little circles, swipe or no swiping. Little circles, ee -oh, ee -oh. that motion helps me get the most beautiful blend. Like, look at that. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. We're gonna take this beautiful champagne gold color right here and put it on the lid. I find it best to put that shit with my finger and just stamp it on like. Whoa, like. Uh. <laughs> no words, no words. Stamp it on and feel free to kind of press it onto your lid. Some of it may end up in your lower lash line, but that's okay because we'll just wipe it off. After the lid, take the dark chocolate shade and add it to the end to finish the blend. Ooh, Dr. Seuss got nothing on me. You can even sweep it across. And we are done with our eye look. Wipe off the mess. I'm gonna prep my face using the e.l.f. hydrating primer. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline's Fit Me Matte Foundation in the shade Rich Tan. Give it a little shake, dot the face, and blend it out with my dirty ass sponge. Next, I'm using the Age Rewind Concealer to highlight. When you're blending out your under eye, start from the bottom, then to the top. Start up from the bottom, now we it. Start from the bottom, now my whole team's fucking here. Don't be afraid to do the exorcist look. Time to set the face. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline's Fit Me Loose Powder in light medium to set my under eye and use the Maybelline's Fit Me Setting Powder for the rest of my face. I'm gonna add some extra powder here cause I like to talk a lot and laugh. 
and not shut up. I wish you would shut your ass up. Damn, you talking too damn much. I'm in pain. Niggas trying to shut up. Just shut up. Right, I don't want to hear nothing. All shut right, up. To add some dimension to my face, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in the shade Don't Send it in it. Try to go along the hollows of your cheekbones. If you don't know what that is, just do this face. Mm, there it is. I like to build it up because it's very easy to go from glam to drag queen. Don't forget your forehead. This shade's great for me, but the shade range is kind of... So what I would recommend is going over to e.l.f. They have a more of a variety of shade ranges. Now that we have our base on, we can finish the rest of the eyes. We're gonna take this chocolate shade down here and add it to our lower lash line. I'm using the e.l.f. smudge brush. This shit is like two ducks. Two, two bucks. Don't be afraid to do this face too. We're gonna add some mascara to the eyes. And I'm using the L'Oreal's Illuminous Original Mascara. If you wanna be extra, you can throw on some false lashes too. You do not have to, but I am going to. While my lash glue is drying, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. blush palette, and I'm gonna use this terracotta shade right here. Last time. Thank God. Close enough. Now that the eyes are finally done, we can start highlighting. I'm gonna use Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Powders. This shade is called Blossom Glow. It's this beautiful icy pink color. Might be too intense, so we're only adding a little bit. Now that you look like a glam donut, it's time to set the face. For gloss, I'm gonna use ColourPop's Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Neat Freak. And there we go. This is my simple glam drugstore look. I hope this inspires you to go to your local Walmart instead of buying hot Cheetos for the third time to also get some drugstore makeup to fill your fantasy. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you next time. Peace.